Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Happy Planner Bujo type of thing in my everyday. Uh, you just saw my little basic design that I have planned out. And I'm going to be using these papers from my Happy Notes. I already have like a line drawn up here at the top. And I've kind of roughly marked out the middle of the page. I'm going to be using an expander size disc to draw my circles for my dates. And for the days of the week. And I'm doing this all in pencil first, just to kind of get a rough idea and before I do anything permanent with a pen or a marker. I did a poll on my Instagram and you guys really wanted to see how I do like the Bujo type of style. And this is, I tried my very best <laughs> to try to do this video. It was ended up being very long, so I tried to cut it down as much as humanly possible. Um, so I hope you guys really enjoy it. I'm just kind of fixing up any little mistakes here and there before I decide if I like it or not, if I need to fix anything. And then I'm going to, um, outline everything. Well, I'm going to outline the pen, the, I'm going to outline the circles with my paper make flare here because I'm pretty satisfied with the way they turned out. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, you, I could have erased them and spent 15 minutes trying to just redraw circles to get them perfect, but it works for me the way they are. Um, one thing that I always keep in mind when I do like a Bujo type spread or when I draw on my planner or anything like that is it has to stay functional. I have to have room to write my daily tasks, anything important that comes up, I have to have room to write. So it has to be functional. It still has to function. So, I mean, I can put, you know, I've literally put a dinosaur dinosaur skeleton in my planner and I still made it work. So, it just, it has to function. And for this one, I'm kind of doing like an overgrown garden type of thing with some really pretty florals and some really soft pastel colors. And again, I'm just outlining these circles, and then once I get done outlining them, I'm going to go over with my pencil eraser and erase uh, any pencil sketches that are left over and just kind of cleaning up the area. You're going to get a lot of little eraser thingies <laughs> all over the place. <clears throat> just again, just kind of looking at everything and then I'm going to find my florals which are these florals from the fun florals sticker book and again uh, just up at the top here just kind of don't really have an idea in mind just kind of do, doing it as I go like when I'm recording when I was recording this I just was kind of okay let's just put them wherever and so I'm just really trying to figure out how I want them best to display like my kind of overgrown but still pretty type of thing I'm going for here. So I am normally not a flower floral sticker person. I use them very rarely but since I've gotten this book it's like I want to put flowers on everything. So I think I've done like flowers in like two or three of the videos I have up already. So, whereas prior to this book, I either held onto the floral stickers for like all of eternity or I used them on one thing. But, so it's nice to have kind of a whole book, I guess. Just kind of mixing in some of the different shapes and sizes of the flowers to kind of get my idea across and I actually at this point I didn't really like it but I kind of just kept going with it to see how it would turn out and I'm really glad I did I mean it's not my most favorite spread but I really liked how it turned out I especially liked how the circles turned out and everything and it's still perfectly usable and I'm still going to use it this week. I also really like that the little design on the happy note paper kind of complements that really pretty peach color in the flowers so I'm glad I chose that paper. Um, 
So yeah, just playing around with flowers. I tried to speed this part up as much as humanly possible. Uh, so feel free to just skip right on ahead. Um, uh, I did end up actually cutting some of the stickers to kind of fit into the areas just to give like some more, I guess, dimension with the larger sizes and the smaller sizes. And I didn't want them to overlap a whole bunch. So yeah. This is just me putting flower stickers on paper. Uh, um, yeah, we're just gonna basically fill that whole top portion of the paper where I had the line drawn. Everything above that line is gonna be filled in. And I'm gonna be trying to let it overhang just a little bit, but not a whole lot because I still wanna have room to write like the dates and the days of the week. And now I'm just trimming all of this stuff to kind of fit in these empty areas to fill it the rest of the way up so no space is kind of left too blank and I think I'm almost done I think I do one more sticker and then we can move on um I don't bujo every week I Typically will bujo when I don't have a bunch of stuff going on like I don't need to write down a bunch of stuff or remember a bunch of stuff and So that kind of gives me more room to do a little bit more of My own style or my own thing. I want to do um, And then I just pop them right into my everyday planner. I don't glue the pages down I don't any of that. I just pop them right in. That's one thing. I really love about the disc bound system actually had to go check the dates to see what dates I needed to pick for this and I'm gonna be putting those right in the middle of the circles here I'm trying to line that one up a little bit I strongly dislike when the sticker rips your paper but it only ended up doing it a little bit so it wasn't that big of a deal and then on the last circle on the on the other page I'm actually going to split it in half for the 30th and the 31st because I'd rather have six boxes and it look even than seven and it look odd, if that makes any type of sense. I'd rather it look, I guess, somewhat symmetrical. So oftentimes when you see me do these and you see them on my Instagram, I will split Saturday and Sunday into one area. Just going in with my flare to separate that little circle. And then I'm just kind of looking for something. I know I want to do like a checklist on the other side, but I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do on the left side of the circle. So I'm kind of just looking around for something that grabs my attention, like a colorful box or like a header or something. <clears throat> I ended up going with these little paint swatch style headers from the colorful boxes sticker book these right here uh, that peach color really matched that floral really well so I put those on all and I don't do it on camera but that's actually where I put the days of the week but you'll be able to see that in the picture of the spread at the very end and just giving one of those to everything or every circle and then here in just a little bit, I'm going to grab my stencil and I'm going to add in a little area on the right side of the box. Just some room for to-do lists or daily to-dos, anything like that. And we're just trying to line it up. It's all right if it ends up a little crooked, it still serves a purpose and it's still perfectly usable. This stencil is one of my favorite things. It's so easy because you can see that little box and the lines already right there. Uh, I didn't use the full stencil area right there. I only used, I think, like six lines. So I'm, again, just giving a little checklist area for all the circles. My pen did not want to cooperate, so I had to end up pressing like really hard but we made it through and again just trying to line up everything so I can do the checklist on this page which 
just double checking again and I actually like while I was doing this coming was coming up with ideas of how I wanted to bake the spread and here in just a little bit I'm going to pull out the super mom sticker book and add some really fun stuff yeah see okay I had to cut some of my video um, I actually ended up just putting a full box in some of those from the simply lovely sticker book and I took a dime like a coin and I put it off to the side and I traced it and then connected it to the date and I'm going to put a little icon sticker in there for like tasks like I use the little laundry icon for that day that's the day I want to do laundry or that's the day I need to go to town with a little shopping bag or whatever I needed them to do so some days only have one some days have two I think Saturday and Sunday ended up having three little bubbles and I can also add more in the week if I need to but I just thought that was a really fun idea to kind of add some more character to this spread instead of having to write laundry day or you know shopping day or clean the bathroom or clean the kitchen you know I just used that little icon and I thought it was really kind of neat and again those little green full or green half boxes are from the simply lovely sticker book I threw those in there just to add in some more of that green and now I'm flipping through the super mom to look for the icons here we go and I actually really like these little icon stickers they're really fun um, so um, there we go I found the washing machine one and just marking the days like I said the days I want to do my laundry the days I want to sit down and watch some TV or clean stick you know things like that you could really put anything you wanted in there And that's pretty much it. I'm going to post a picture at the end so you guys can see it. And thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.